Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Football Family Feuds. And first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for their continued support. Um, and it greatly helps the channel having your support. So we appreciate it. And if you're watching one of these for the first time or you would watch these videos and have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and thumbs up if you like the videos as well. It will greatly help the channel. So um, spread the word as well. If you like it, this channel, and you think that other people will enjoy it, let them know because um, it'll be good to have more subscribers on board. Today, I'll be doing a transfer um, video. I haven't done one of those for a few days. So today I'll be looking at Willian and Izzy finally about to swap Chelsea for Tottenham. Um, I'll also be looking at Unana um, and there are reports going around that Chelsea are favourites to sign him. Got news on Timo Werner, not great news if you're a Chelsea supporter and just a little bit on um, Jadon Sancho as well. So first story is about uh, Willian and uh, in the, my match preview for the Tottenham game I mentioned about Willian and how he's now a UK citizen. He had made three unsuccessful attempts in the past but now they have granted him, the immigration uh, officers now granted him uh, his British passport. So him and his family he's, are settled in London and this is where they would like to remain. Um, so um, he said that he would like to, as I said, stay in London and finish his career at a London club. But um, Chelsea have been in negotiations with William for a while now. But the, these, it's hit an uh, impasse at the minute because um, what's happening is that Chelsea are willing to offer him a two-year deal, but William would like a three-year deal. William is 32. So Chelsea, even John Terry, who was a club legend, wasn't offered a, a, a three-year deal. He was offered just the yearly renewals on his contract. So I'm not sure why William thinks he's any different from anyone in the club, why he's special, why he thinks that we, we, we're going to bow down to him and give him a three-year deal. And the thing is, his stats are not even that great for somebody who is an attacking player. Um, so we sort of look into his statistics. He has only scored in the. I'm just going by the league statistics, not overall. He's been with us now for how I many? Eight, seven seasons. And in seven seasons at Chelsea, um, he's played a total of 222 games and 32 goals. Not good enough. And if you look at his assists now, 30 assists. I'd, I thought it was more actually. I had to sort of look at various sources to see. So I looked to obviously Wikipedia. Sometimes Wikipedia is not accurate. I looked at um, who scored and I looked at about four or five different sources. And yeah, 30 assists in the league, 32 goals. Not a great output for an attacking player. Um, so, and I think, as I said in my video yesterday, I think his time's come, uh, he's, he's, he's a bit stale now in the side. He needs a different project. He's been flirting with Tottenham as well because he was uh, said that Jose Mourinho is, is somebody he looks up to. And obviously Jose Mourinho is now the Tottenham manager. So, um, I can see him going to Tottenham on a free transfer. Jose still likes him. Um, if he goes to Tottenham on a free transfer, he'll get a bumper um, signing on fee. And Tottenham probably offer him that three-year contract that he wants. But as like I said, I don't think Chelsea are going to bow down to those needs. And if he's not going to back down on the three years, then thank you and goodbye, William. What do you guys think? Do you think... His time is up for Willian. Do you think um, we should bow to his needs and give him three years? Or how, would you be happy that he's moving across to Tottenham, for instance? Um, do you feel that he'll be a bit of a threat when we play against them? Or 
are, are you not bothered that he may um, go to Tottenham? I'll put that comment below. For the next story now, um, I'm looking at Unana because I've done a video on Unana for a while ago and there's a kind of update on Unana and this is, has been taken from the publication um, Sports Witness. And the story says that um, obviously Kepa's been dropped from the last two games at Chelsea. Frank Lampard isn't keen on him still. Um, had he just been dropped for the one game, then we could have probably said it was just to, to sort of um, t teach him a lesson, tell him that you, know, you need to buck your ideas up, you come in and see how you perform. But he was officially dropped, you can say, because it's two games now he's been left out for. It'd be interesting to see who Lampard picks for the Tottenham game. If he's missing for the third game now, you can see, you, uh, then you know that he's definitely out of favour by Frank Lampard. Um, so, and we've been exploring other avenues. Um, so there was a name that came up a couple of days ago. It's um, Udinese keeper Owan Musa. Um, He's been actively scouted by the clubs and he's one of the targets. Um, along with, as I said, uh, the Ajax goalkeeper, Andre Unana. Um, so what's happened with this one? Barcelona are interested in signing Unana. I think he started off his career at Barcelona because they view him as a backup for Andre Ter Stegen because um, last summer's signing, Neto hasn't convinced the Camp Nou leaders. So it's claimed that the Cameroon International will leave Ajax in the summer and the Barcelona president, Josep Maria Bartumi, uh, that how he's pronounced his name, he's already had talks with um, him during the um, Ballon d'Or Gala. Um, but during those talks, uh, it's, it's emerged that there's one problem for Barcelona. That problem is um, that... Um, Chelsea are the main favourites to sign the Ajax goalkeeper. And so it's, the report goes on to say that the West London club are ready to get rid of Kepa and are pushing very hard for Unana. And it also says that Manchester United and PSG are candidates, but they already have goalkeepers in De Gea and Navas as their first choice. So make of that what you want. But um, these Unana stories are not going away. So there may be legs in this. So um, I'll keep you informed of anything that I, any other news that I hear in regards to this situation. Um, and I'm hearing some other news with regards to Werner, which isn't great news for Chelsea. Um, a source has said that a deal to go to Liverpool has already been signed. So um, it looks like Werner's off the table for us. Um, did, how reliable this source is, I don't know, but they are confident that it's all but agreed and all what is waiting, for, all the, the both clubs are waiting for now is that official announcement and when to announce it. I'm not sure whether they'll announce it um, during the season or wait until the end of the season and make the announcement then. Um, as I said, make of that whatever what you want, but that's what I'm hearing. Don't shoot the messenger, but yeah. So Werner looks like he may be going to Liverpool. And this story does have some legs when you think about it. Um, obviously, um, RB Leipzig played against Liverpool, um, Liverpool, RB Leipzig played against Tottenham in the Champions League and um, Fjortov the journalist was interviewing him and he did say that it would be a pleasure to play for Liverpool and but he's still got a lot of work to do um, to get into the Liverpool side but that is a project that he's very much interested in. So the way that he was talking in that interview looks like something may have already been agreed. So Chelsea fans, um, what do you think about that? Uh, no Werner. Were you impressed with Werner? Because a lot of Chelsea fans I'm, I'm um, hearing weren't impressed with him when they uh, when they played against Tottenham. They said he wasn't physical enough for the Premier League. He was getting bullied by the Tottenham defenders. So, would you be disappointed if he went to Liverpool? Is, there, is he a player that you'd have liked to have seen at Chelsea? So, let me know. And finally, and Jadon Sancho. Again, that club Liverpool... They're not get uh, 
they are proven to be a thorn in our side at the moment. They already stole um, Van Dijk. Of us. And I, we were linked with Van Dijk, but he preferred to go to Liverpool. Uh, the goalkeeper, Alisson, went to Liverpool. And now I'm hearing that um, Sancho is interested in, in Liverpool. Again, as I said, it may just be rumours because yeah, every day you hear a different story. First of all, it was oh, Chelsea, he's interested in joining Chelsea. Then you heard Manchester United and he, he likes what they are offering. And you know, today's story is, is Liverpool. So tomorrow's story, it may be Chelsea again. We just don't know because as I said, he's going to be a well sought after uh, player. And so there are probably going to be a lot more twists and turns in this in this Sancho um, situation, and um, we'll just have to wait and see what what happens. But um, what do you guys think? Do you think he'll come to Chelsea? Do you think he'll weigh up other options? Do you think it depends on us qualifying for the Champions League? Uh, we'll see. Um, some journalist, I can't remember who it was, said that. Rather than Chelsea spending over a hundred million pounds on Sancho, there are other viable options that they can go for, and that it'll be a waste of money. Um, but then you've got people like Neymar saying that he is a generational talent, and he expects him to win two Ballon d'Ors within the next eight or nine years. Is he somebody that we need to come in to fill the Hazard void? Is he that? or talisman player that we need do we spend most of our budget on getting him to take us to the next level um, what do you think comment below so guys as i said before don't forget to like subscribe turn on all notifications and we will see you on the next videos